What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna do a deep dive into the latest DJI Action 2 Cinematic Unleashed video. This is gonna be a breakdown of that sequence and uh, I made this sequence in Premiere Pro, one of the few times that I used Premiere Pro. I have only one iPad at this point, still waiting for my other broken uh, iPad. Received a new one, but that one was broken for some reason, so I sent it back, don't have it waiting for uh, the iPad and only have one iPad which has the beta access to LumaFusion which has features that you can be excited about but I cannot show you anything. It was a little bit challenging, it was fun, it's been so long since I made a video in Premiere Pro. Now most of this video can actually be made in LumaFusion as well so if you edit your videos in LumaFusion uh, then you don't want to skip out on this video because I used most of the basic tools which you can find in LumaFusion as well to create this sequence. And we're gonna go through everything, uh, break down the entire video. So grab a cup of coffee and just a pen and paper and just write down whatever you feel is uh, valuable uh, from this video or take, yeah, anyway. Now this video is also sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Even if the video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound, there is a reason why I always use Epidemic Sound. You might've heard this before on this channel as well. I personally think it's the best platform for music and sound effects and that's why I always come back to epidemic sound and I I don't feel the need to test out anything else and uh, I, if you haven't already I really recommend that you test out a free trial on epidemic sound so you can have the same experience that I'm having when I look for sound effects and music now with that said let's head over to uh, Premiere Pro and let's dive deep into the cinematic edit of this video so this is what the timeline of my recent DJI Action 2 cinematic video sequence looks like. It might look a bit massive at first, but this is something we can make in any type of editing software. I made a similar sequence in LumaFusion on the iPad earlier, which will be linked down below if you want to check out that version and the version I made in LumaFusion. But like I said, this type can be easily made in any editing software which has the basic tools such as blend modes, cropping, chroma key, luma key, audio and video layers, audio muffle or low pass filter for audio and speed changes and speed ramps. The intro part of me being dragged into the Action 2 lens had to be made in After Effects. And believe me, I did try to replicate this effect in LumaFusion, but being limited to a few things like mesh warp, puppet tools, etc., I didn't really find a way. But if I find a way, I will definitely make a tutorial on that part. Uh, the sequence is made with two music tracks, different sound effects to fit the scenery, and raw audio from the DJI Action 2. And when I edit a sequence like this, I always put together the video first, then add sound effects and then music if needed. I think the LumaFusion version of this uh, does not contain any music tracks at all, so you can also create a stunning sequence either fast or slow paced with sound effects only. Now let's go through the sequence so you can better understand how I put this together and how I manipulated different sound effects to fit the visuals a bit better. Now let's go to the beginning of the sequence here and this beginning part was extremely easy and fast to create. So the way that I created this to create that sort of um, monitor look uh, was to have just a normal VHS uh, overlay here with, with some lines and some slight flickers on the top left corner or flickers all over but you can best see it on the top uh, left corner here and the nested sequence is the uh, screen record of the web browser itself and I flipped this the other way so it looks a little bit more natural and I added some uh, um, a glow to it so if we turn the glow off it looks like this and uh, with the glow it looks like this you can also do this with just normal tint as well and to get this to blend in with me talking I simply used the blend mode overlay so this is the normal look and we can go down to different overlays modes here or blend modes I mean and uh, going over to overlay this really fits the the scene the best so this is uh, the intro part and 
this can, like I said, easily be uh, replicated and remade in uh, any type of editing software which has the basic tools. Now for the sound effect, this is just a room tone. So if we just play that, And we have that fan going on in the background and we have that noisy environment uh, which really fits the the scenery now moving over to the next part here this is just some simple b-roll of me picking up the package i didn't really pick up the package it was my wife handing the package to me uh, so that's also something that you can uh, do so i had to cut out the part right here because i was actually seeing her sandals and her feet here so you know that wouldn't help selling the effect uh, either so I had to cut about uh, here and then just some normal uh, b-roll filming just my way into the studio and opening the uh, DJI uh, box here so I just used the same packaging and uh, and just uh, packed it again and just reopened it <laughs> simple as that walking out of the studio and um, having the same uh, um, background noise here and you can also see I adjusted the volume here as we are uh, going through the sequence so once we get out of the room um the office here the audio goes down because it's not going to be the same audio here in the hallway and through the living room and so on and then once we get back to the studio the audio goes up again and then down and we go back to the cinematic part uh, which is starting with the animation in uh, in After Effects. And once we get over to the cinematic beginning here with the uh, DJI Action 2 coming up from the box here, uh, it should have been some cinematic bars here because if you take a look at the box here right now, you can see it, it's open and then suddenly it's, it's gone. So um, for some reason, I removed the cinematic bar and also the color grading which is the green tone here don't know how that happened uh, but I I'm not sure if you noticed in the cinematic uh, video now for the sound effects here we have some simple vanish teleport sound effects and we have some deep impact sound effects and some fire whooshes which is uh, creating this cinematic opening here there's also some uh, ghostly um, voices in there as well so if we take a look at the uh, sound effects here and just listen to those it sounds like this And then we have this uh, electric storm coming in here as the box is shaking. Now, uh, the way I created this shake box here, uh, or created the box shaking, was really, really simple. Can be a little bit harder uh, to replicate in uh, in uh, any editing program which does not have proper masking tool. But if this box was aligned perfectly, like a square towards the uh, the camera here and had perfect straight lines, this would be easy to replicate in something like Luma Fusion and the way that I did that was to simply have an empty shot first and I just placed my camera had the empty shot recorded for 10 seconds and then I placed the box here and I had a fishing line on the left hand side here and fishing line on the right hand side I'm not sure if you can see you can probably see right here there is a fishing line and it's going one here as well and I just masked out that while I was, uh, you know, making the box uh, do some shaky movements. And at the end of the box, I was just increasing the speed so it went a little bit faster. And we have some overlays coming in here and then we have me running. So all the shots coming after this is shot entirely on the DJI Action 2. And for the um, transition here, this was extremely, you know, random. Uh, and uh, when I was running with this shot, uh, if I take the, you can actually see the entire clip here. If we take a look at this, I was running and then I moved the camera just upside down for some reason because I was moved, taking it up to stop recording and this created a sort of a, a really nice unexpected 
uh, transition option and the way that I use this this part right here was to use a uh, luma key and then uh, just uh, blend in the other uh, image which is this one and I added some uh, just a normal fire overlays here which I uh, used the blend mode screen and the place that behind and that made this uh, this transition here quite unexpected transition but it worked pretty great and here we also have some uh, uh, flame whoosh sound effect from Epidemic Sound and another sound effect here is just some blades coming on when I am running so if we just solo this we can listen to the blades coming in here you could also use a heartbeat, but for this, I wanted to introduce some drone blade uh, sound effects, which is reflecting back to the entire uh, sequence because it's the majority of the clips is actually shot on the DJI FPV drone. Uh, well, it's shot on the DJI Action 2, but that was mounted on the FPV drone. Now, for the next part here, we have most of the original. Uh, sound from the uh, action 2 when I'm taking off my backpack and we can actually just mute this uh, audio here this music track so if we listen to the sound effects and the internal uh, audio from the action 2 we have the normal normal sound effects here and also for the the FPV drone here once I'm taking the FPV drone out of the backpack you can hear this sort of boot up or this power on sound effect which is also reflecting back to sort of the blades starting on the FPV drone which is something I found to be really nice actually create something additional and this is just some normal power up high tech uh, sound effects and there's tons of that on epidemic sound as well if you want to if you want to go in there and, and check some of these out uh, but let's uh, listen to this part of the uh, the sequence here where I'm taking off my backpack and then taking out the drone here and there's just just mainly this uh, this sound effect the boot up sound effect and the internal audio from the action 2 and some whoosh sound and also some overlays of course now let's listen to this same part here but with this music track added there is some um, uh, some um, a low pass filter added to this as well which you can see here uh, but let's go back to the uh, part and let's uh, Take a listen to the uh, audio and the music file as well when this is getting muffled down when uh, when everything is going on. So that's also an easy way of creating uh, small adjustments to your sequence. So when you have something going on which is going a little bit faster or you want to add some uh, or you have a, a small part of the sequence where you're going to add sound effects, uh, the best possible way to create and the fastest way to create that a little bit better and to make that a little bit better is to add some uh, changes to the audio uh, volume or to add a low pass filter or muffle audio which uh, creates uh, that sort of bubble underwater uh, sound and for me this is my favorite way of uh, creating the change between uh, the audio and the visuals uh, going over to a more uh, sound effect based part of the sequence uh, so let's go over to more of the uh, sounds here this is also the uh, raw audio of the uh, FPV drone booting up and you, here you can hear that the sound is being slowed down and you also have this this boot up uh, high tech uh, power up uh, uh, sound effect which we used earlier as well. Now the slow motion part of the sound here was also really easy to uh, create as you see here uh, we have uh, uh, three different layers and the way that I did this was to have this in, at normal speed and the last one at normal speed and the middle part was actually you know it was about this small 
and I slow that down and I added a cross dissolve here to the uh, or constant power. You can do this in Luma Fusion, but yeah, you can add a cross dissolve. It will, it will do the same effect. And then it goes from uh, fast or normal speed then to slower speed and then back to normal speed. So you create sort of that speed ramp using these two uh, cross dissolves or constant powers. And that's the way that you can do it with audio in LumaFusion as well. I might make a separate video on that, on how you can uh, make uh, a speed ramp sort of uh, transition effects, <laughs> you know, to audio in LumaFusion uh, uh, later and how you can put together a sequence using only uh, that type of uh, editing style. Now for the next part here, it's basically a lot of wishes and uh, uh, cinematic bars and color grading and a lot and a drone clips. So the remaining parts here are mostly drone clips. And as you can see here, there is a lot of um, uh, wish sounds which is coming in here and I find epidemic sound to have the best library for wish sounds and what I use the most is actually fire of wishes and it all everything is is sort of fire because it creates a more uh, drastic dramatic uh, uh, sound to the whoosh than a normal just you know air whoosh or anything like that so the past couple of months I've actually been using fire whooshes or or some sort of a fire transition sound for most of the uh, um, whoosh sound effects which you have uh, heard in uh, my previous cinematic videos as well or any of my other videos where I use sound effects now if we go to the part right here and just take a listen to that we can see solo this uh, not that one but this one and if we listen to that and uh, we have uh, the snow coming in and it's sort of this small crackling and this crackling sound is uh, just a wind freeze sound effect and really easy to to uh, find really easy to use when you have shots like this where you you want to add some sound effects to your drone shots as well you know because a, a drone shot is going to be quite empty itself without any sound design added it's going to be no audio or if you use the action 2 uh, on your drone or any other action camera you're going to have the wind noise you're going to have the propellers and it's going to be a massive and it's going to be annoying so adding sound effects to your drone clips uh, is really important to make them a bit better or a whole lot better in my opinion uh, there is also some fire uh, wood uh, sort of bonfire coming in here so if we listen to this part right here you can hear that we have the crackling coming in and then we have uh, the bonfire coming in right here which is slowed down and that you know creates a more dramatic uh, crackling sound because you have the fire the wood uh, crackling when it's burning and that fits really great for a scenery like this and i was so happy with this shot right here because we had all these openings in the in the water so uh, that really helped on selling in the sound effect as well so let's listen to the small part here and you can hear for yourself we're going to mute the um, uh, music track again you have the crackling and the whoosh and the bonfire. Then we have the water. The water is starting a little bit before the actual uh, clip coming. This is also a, a pro tip for, for you if you are a beginner and if you want to create uh, uh, some uh, cinematic sound design for your um, cinematic sequence as well. You can always start the sound effect before you see the clip because that is creating the sound in the viewer's head uh, for what they are expected to see in the next clip before the clip actually comes. Now let's go back to this sound effect here, the whoosh sound effect. If you listen to this, you can hear that it's it's kind of torn, it's ripped apart and it's not that smooth because it's slowed down so much. But if we take a, li a listen to this now, you can hear for yourself. You can probably hear that, but if we turn on the music, you can't hear that torn part. So uh, even if a sound effect sound torn up, 
adding some music or when you are having some music, if you decide to have some music, might remove that, you know, issue that you have with the sound effect if you want the sound effect to last longer than it actually is. So you can play around with the, with the different speeds of your sound effect if you want it to go faster or slower and it really makes a difference. So for this entire whoosh sequence uh, which you are seeing uh, here, uh, all of these sound effects is not, the majority of these sound effects are not the same. It's the same sound effect but it's adjusted in different speeds to fit the scenery. So I used one whoosh sound effect and then I changed the speed of it to make it sound different for every single uh, clip or for every single transition which you see in the sequence as well. So that's also a pro tip for you as a beginner if you want to spice up uh, the sound effect even more or if you are struggling to find uh, the sound effect or a perfect whoosh sound effect that you want to use, you can always change the speed of it to make it sound better and different. Now if we go over to the clip right here all of the seagulls here, these three seagulls, uh, this is this is not real. Uh, this is uh, just some stock footage uh, which I used and I masked out everything here. So if we take a look at uh, uh, this one right here, we can delete the mask and we can increase the size of it. And you can see that I used some uh, luma key and some uh, cropping as well. We can also just uh, remove that and this is the original clip. So I was m just masking out this seagull right here and I used this three times and flipped it around to match uh, the uh, scenery and to make them a little bit different. Also adjusted the scale. Now you can do this with a simple uh, uh, a simple cropping box as well which is square you only just keyframe it and follow the seagull and then you add some color correction to it to make it easier to use chroma key or luma key so making this in something like luma fusion would be perfect now I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I made this sequence in Premiere Pro because I made the previous one in LumaFusion and also I still wait for my iPad uh, 2018 model, which is still on repair for the third time or I received a new one and the new one, the brand new one I received had the same issue. So now I'm waiting for the third one or the fourth one, can't really remember. And also the current iPad that I use has the LumaFusion beta version. so there is a few things there which cannot be shown at this point uh, but something that you can be excited about. So again there is uh, some masking coming on here as well just some basic masking going from the uh, winter scenery here and then over to some of the summer clips which you or uh, fall clips which you have seen earlier probably in uh, the cinematic uh, DJI Action 2X one go backpack video I think it was that one uh, and uh, just more bushes and more bonfire going on so we can listen to this part here here we also have the bonfire coming in, increased a little bit in the volume so it's uh, it's easier to hear and since this is, is uh, a top down shot here, uh, having that type of sound effect, the crackling, the ice, the winter, the, the load on the trees uh, really creates a nice dramatic uh, look uh, and visuals uh, and everything to the video. So with this shot, this is probably one of the, my favorite shots here in this sequence. So let's just listen to, uh, to that one too. Now for the remaining sequence here, there is uh, uh, not much going on other than some sound design and some bushes and uh, some crackling sounds every time these uh, winter shots are coming. So let's uh, take a listen to this. And uh, here we have another uh, sound effect which is uh, waves and this is actually a big surf wave and this is uh, my favorite wave sound effect because it's so long if I take it down here and just uh, scale it out here it's so long so we can use 
different parts here of the of the sound effect. So let's say I want a different type of sound effect or a different type of wave uh, sound effect, which is not the same as the previous one I used. Then I can use this part right here. And for another one, I can use this part and this part and I can slow it down. I can speed it up. And this is definitely my favorite uh, wave sound effect. So the name of this is uh, Big uh, wave serves up uh, if you are looking to get that on epidemic sound as well now if we move over to epidemic sound here we can see that we have um, uh, some different sound effects that we can select from i uh, just want to show you this as well because there's so many different uh, sound effects and you can literally make your entire video using sound effects only and I just want to say that everything has been rearranged, uh, I believe, because I now found it so much easier to actually find the sound effects that I wanted. So it, it seems like they have also put everything uh, where they they supposed to be, uh, which is really, really helpful. And I can understand it could have been a little bit tricky when you have more than 90,000 sound effects to choose from. Uh, one more thing, which is really awesome, is that you go to, if you go to the search, uh, you can also see your search history down here. So here you can see what I've been searching for lately to create this cinematic sequence. So there's fire wishes, fire crackling, ice crackling, snow room, big waves, seagulls, chopper, drone, and so on. You can always go over to me and then you can go over to downloads. And here you can see all your downloads that you have been downloading. And when it comes to music tracks, there's so much to pick from as well. You have so many different things and trending what everyone is is using right now and holiday season they have so many good tracks for Christmas and for other holidays as well for vlogs and for travels sports and action and cinematic videos so there's so many different things that you can choose from now if you want to test out epidemic sound you can use the link down in the description below which will give you a free trial to test out everything that you want to test out and the good thing is that even though you uploaded the videos during your trial period once your trial period ends you will not get any copyright claims on your videos that you uploaded uh, during your trial period which is fantastic so that's also a good thing to have in mind now let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this entire sequence and if we're gonna put something similar together in Lima Fusion in the future would be really interesting to see how much it can actually handle. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the sequence here and is there any parts of the sequence that you would really love to see a tutorial on either in Premiere Pro After Effects or in Luma Fusion. Now there we have the cinematic breakdown of the shot on DJI Action to Cinematic Unleashed. Really hope that you enjoyed the cinematic video, the video itself and uh, and the breakdown. And let me know down in the comment section below, like I said, if there is any parts that you want me to remake in, in Premiere Pro, After Effects or in Luma Fusion. And uh, I really do appreciate that you pop by checking out this video as well, even though this was not a uh, Luma Fusion uh, video. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. So with that said, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you very soon.